I'm on a mission like a couple spies. And that, guys, is the reason why I catechize the good... Thank you for listening to the Reform Standard Podcast. I'm your host, Tony, and each week we mine the Reformed, creedal, and confessional tradition for nuggets of theological gold. Let's get started. The Westminster Larger Catechism opens with a question that is well known to Christians all across all theological traditions. Uh, It's not a question that any particular tradition would have much to quibble with, but it is one that I think bears a little bit of explaining. So the question is, what is the chief and highest end of man? Now, this question is not one that is using language that we are often familiar with. The divines here are really getting at the idea that man has, although it may, although man may have multiple purposes, man has a chief purpose or a first purpose. That when God in eternity past in his infinite wisdom decreed to create man, that he had in mind a creature that had a telos or an end point. There was some sort of purpose that guided and structured the way that God would create man. And so this question, what is the chief and highest end of man, is answered by the divines by saying man's chief and highest end is to glorify God and fully to enjoy him forever. So when we look at this question and we look at this answer, we see that they're framing their entire theological system, their entire body of doctrine with this purpose. And so this purpose overrides and superintends not only everything that they would do in the course of this catechism or in the course of these confessional documents, but it really was seen as the thing that governed and regulated all of life. It was the thing that drove everything that was done Uh, in the Westminster Reformed tradition. This isn't unique to the Westminster tradition, although we don't see it phrased in this same way in other Reformed catechisms and Reformed confessions. This idea that man was created first and foremost, that the chief and highest end of man was to bring glory to God and to fully enjoy him forever is a common sentiment across the Reformed tradition. Now, we've seen in our day that there are some who wish to redefine this to say that man's chief and highest end is to glorify God by fully enjoying him forever. Now, this is certainly a true statement. This is certainly a way that we can think about what it is that God has created us to do. But when we make the enjoying God forever to be the um, primary or sometimes exclusively uh, exclusive vehicle of glorifying God, we tend to focus on ourselves. But in reality, this is really driven to the idea that man as created in the image of God, originally intended not only to be a creature of God, but to somehow reflect and magnify his visible glory to those seeing him. Something that even the angels would be jealous of. We have to think about this in terms of what it is to glorify God, what it is for us to reflect that glory. And so we'll find out as we explore the rest of the Westminster Larger Catechism and as we dip our toes into other creedal and confessional documents through the course of our study, that the the answer to that question of what it means to glorify God, what it means to fully enjoy God forever, will be explained to us. We'll see as early as the next question that we find in the scriptures everything that we need, every answer to every question related to how do we glorify God and how do we enjoy him forever. We find that in the scriptures. So I'm excited for you to join me on this podcast. I'm excited for you to learn along with me. And uh, each week we'll be taking one question or one section of a confession when we dip our toes in that water, and we'll just talk about it for 10 or 15 minutes and sort of explore the theology presented and make a little bit of application to our lives. So thank you for joining me on the Reform Standard, and I look forward to speaking to you next week. You know if you want you could know this, the catechism, hey, the catechism, hey. Do you know what the chief and the man is, and how the father, son, and spirit do manage? Do you know if you want you could know this? West Side.